Greetings once again from us and welcome. We have the pleasure to present 2021 KCSE Chemistry Paper 3. This year, question one tested what we call double titration. Welcome and be with us until the end. Now, double titration in simple terms is where we are given two titrations to do. So we have two tables to fill. Double titration actually presents an opportunity for a student to pass more or to pass better because if you maximize the marks in the two tables you are sure of getting at least six marks but if you do it very well to score the mark on accuracy and final answer then we are sure of 10 marks out of 40 that just come from filling correctly and accurately the two tables. So double titration makes chemistry paper three a little bit easier to pass. So let us have a look at what 2021 tested and the question read, you are provided with three solutions here. Solution A is 0 0.1 molar solution of monobasic acid. A monobasic acid is one that has one replaceable hydrogen atom. For example, HCl. We also have ethanoic acid being monobasic. But because here we do not know what was there, we shall generally write, this, write it as HA to mean there is one replaceable hydrogen atom in the acid. Now, solution B is sodium hydroxide solution and solution, solution C we are told contains 10 grams of an acid C per liter of solution. So we have done an analysis of the solutions given. So let us move on to what you are required to do in the practical. So number one, we want to standardize solution B, this sodium hydroxide, using A. And standardization simply means we want to find its concentration. And then two, we were asked to, we were tasked to determine the number of moles of sodium hydroxide solution after standardization that would react with one mole of acid C. Now, to the procedure. Fill a burette with A. Our A remains 0 0.1 molar. Let's call it HA for now, a monobasic acid. Then we were asked that using a pipette and a filler, place 25, we mark these uh, volumes because they are very useful in calculations, of solution B. B is sodium hydroxide into a 250 conical flask. We were then asked to titrate B with A using phenolphthalein indicator and record results in table one. We want to repeat the titration two more times so as to complete that table. So it is a discussion. So we will assume that the student got these volumes. So let's suppose the student got these volumes for our 
titration 1. So we have 24.2 in the first titration. In the next titration, the student got 24.3. And in the last titration, let's assume the student got 24.3. So, as usual, we have always advised that any time you are doing a titration experiment, make sure you have two sets of values or two sets of volumes that can be averaged. So, for our case, the first two is our set one, and then the last two is our set two. So, you only use one set when you are doing the average. So, let's have a look at the questions. I believe we have a clearer understanding of how this table is usually marked. And as we always do, we shall once again share a link to the video we did earlier that explained very well, explained very well how the table is awarded marks. Now, so we want to move to the questions, having filled our table. So the first question asks to calculate the average volume of A used. I want us to use our set 2. Don't use both sets in your script. Just pick one set out of the two sets. The other set, leave the examiner to do it for you, should you uh, want to score the mark on accuracy and final answer. So we have 24.3 plus 24.5 divided by 2, giving us 24.4 cubic centimeters. Now, number of moles of A in the average volume used. Remember A, A that we had was a 0.1 molar monobasic acid. So, 0 0.1 moles were present in one liter of solution. So, as usual, we practice with first principle approach. So, we had 0 0.1 molar being present in a liter of our solution. But for the titration, we have just used 24.4 cubic centimeter. So, how many moles would be here? Cross multiplication gives us 24.4 times 0 0.1 divided by 1,000. And you get answer 0 0.00244 moles. Wow, good for page one. So moving on to the other questions. Uh, in the next question, we are being asked number of moles of sodium hydroxide in solution B. So, we reacted A with B, but B, the information is incomplete. So that means we need mole ratio. So here, because we are reacting sodium hydroxide with a monobasic acid, the mole ratio was supposed to be 1 is to 1. So this is how your equation would look like. If we assume our acid was uh, monobasic as indicated. So we can use HA to represent our acid or even HX. So this would be the formula for the salt. So mole ratio for the acid and sodium hydroxide is 1 is to 1. So it means the moles of B, moles of B present in 25 were the same as those ones of sodium hydroxide. So we still have our figure 0 0.00. 
0.244 moles. I hope you've understood that point, that since the acid is monobasic, when you react it with sodium hydroxide, the ratio is 1 is to 1. We end procedure 1 by having a look at question part 4, concentration of sodium hydroxide in moles per liter. So if you remember, we used 25 cubic centimeters of sodium hydroxide in our titration. So in 25, that is where we had the number of moles indicated here. So moles per liter, you'd ask yourself how many moles therefore would be present in one liter. Simple cross multiplication gives uh, 1000 times 0 0.00244 divided by 25. And I get uh, 0 0.0976 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. First principle approach, doing wonders as far as these questions are concerned. So as I explained earlier, this was a double titration. So having finished with titration one and having done all the calculations that followed, we were supposed to do another titration in procedure two. Let's have a look. So clean the burette, and this time we are filling it with solution C. Solution C was an acid C, which is not known. So using a pipette filler, place 25 of B. So this time round, B, we have been able to calculate its molarity, and we have found 0 0.0976 molar sodium hydroxide. This one is acid C, which is not known. And of course, we are using 25 of the sodium hydroxide. Now, moving on, we have titrate solution B with C, again using phenolphthalein, and record your results in table 2. So again, let's assume we did this together with a student, and in the first titration, he got 16.5 cubic centimeters. Let's assume so. You can start the initial at where this ended because this one is a very small volume compared to the whole pipette, but uh, let's just top up. So next one we had 0, 0.0 as the initial, then we got 16.4, and finally we had 16.6. Okay, so because we are practicing the idea of having two sets of figures that can be averaged, we are going to make a slight change here. Let's make it 16.3 so that the two become your set one that you can average and the last two also become your set two. Practice leaving your table in that format. You are likely to score the mark on accuracy and the mark on final answer as explained in a video whose link we have put in the description of the video. So average volume this time, again let's use set 2, 16.4 plus 16.6 uh, over 2 and uh, we are getting 16.5 cubic centimeters as our average volume. Good. We continue with now the questions that followed titration 2. And the first question we are asked is to calculate the concentration in moles per liter of solution C. Given that the relative formula mass is 210. So, we have always said that 210, the relative formula mass expressed in grams and then in a liter of solution, that gives you a man molar solution. Now, if you look at what we were provided with, let me just show you once again, 
Our solution C, we are told, contained 10 grams per liter. So, 2 10 grams per liter is one molar solution of C. But what we used only had 10 grams per liter. So, how many moles would that be? And if you do a simple cross multiplication, you get 10 times 1 divided by 210. And our answer becomes 0 0.04762 molar solution of acid C. Good. We proceed. A number of moles of acid C used in the average volume. So, 1,000 cubic centimeters, as we have just said up there, would have 0 0.04762 moles. But we only used, according to our average volume, 16.5 cubic centimeter. This would have how many moles? Cross multiplication, 16.5 times 0 0.04762 divided by 1,000. And I'm getting... 0 0.0007857 moles. So to part C, Roman 1, write the ratio of moles of acid C to moles of sodium hydroxide in 25 cubic centimeter of solution B. Now this is a very simple question. Moles of C, we have just calculated up here. So the answer is that you simply write moles of C, which is 0 0.007875 to moles of sodium hydroxide, which we calculated earlier to be 0 0.00244. So you leave this as a ratio and you get the answer to that question. Now we end by answering the question which asked, determine the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that react with one mole of acid C. So to answer this question, we shall divide moles of sodium hydroxide by moles of acid C. And if you do this division, we get something like 3.1055. But because it has to be a whole number, the answer we get here is 3. So, the number of moles of sodium hydroxide that react with one mole of acid C is 3 moles. With that... We have come to the end of our presentation where we have discussed 2021 Practicals Chemistry question number one which tested us on double titration. We wish you well in your revision and continue to support us by subscribing to our channel. Thank you.